If we had no natural self-protecting stress response, we would be dead. And even more importantly, our ancestors would have been dead and therefore we never would have been born. You see, fear, or the fight or flight response, developed to save our cave-dwelling ancestors from the jaws of a saber-toothed predator. It would increase their heart rate, it would give them adrenaline and cortisol coursing through their body, giving them the energy that they need to respond to this fear, to protect themselves, to flee, to defend themselves, because there's a clear immediate danger. It's healthy. This is a normal biological reaction to protect ourselves. It keeps us safe. But the problem comes when people live in a state of fear, thinking that they're protecting themselves. Because you don't need fear to avoid danger. You only need a basic level of common sense. Now, a child doesn't touch the hot stove, not because they're afraid of the stove, but because they've learned that it's gonna hurt them. And so that same child that doesn't have a fear of fire may, as an adult, find themselves in a burning home, and it would be completely natural and normal to have the fear response, situational fear. Of course, you're gonna wanna have that response because if you didn't, you wouldn't get yourself out of the burning building. But if after the fact that person then develops a fear of fire, when there is no fire going on, and it's just the idea of fire that they fear, then that is not situational fear, it's psychological fear. Check out the link in our bio for our emotional intelligence course and coach certification, starting at only $6.99.